hello everyone welcome to the channel welcome if you're new i'm stacy and tonight we are going to be painting a cute little um bunny peeking out of some flowers i want this to be light and carefree and whimsical i sketched it in with my mechanical pencil it's a sumo grip let's go to 0.7 and I just rolled over it a little bit with my kneaded eraser to pick up some of the loose graphite with that because it was quite a bit darker um, there and I'm going to get my large this does not feel clean it is not how bad is it Oh, not too bad. Okay. Got my large um, round number 18 Princeton Neptune brush out. And then I'm going to grab out my mm -mm, Princeton Heritage round number 6. Because it has a little more control, a little more snap for the areas where I want some snap. And then I think I'm going to grab out this... Um, wedge brush as well which also is not very clean there we go for just getting in sweeping lines we're gonna go in with some light washes this is um, mixed media paper it is not watercolor paper so we'll see how well it does it usually does pretty good it's the artist loft brand which is Michael's Craft Store's um, brand. But I wanted to go in with some, just some, let's just do a few spritzes around my bunny. Like that. Just to get the, the, the paper moist. And I'm going to go in with this super soft cloud blue to start and then maybe a bit of this sky blue there we go just to get in some some color some light pale Going pale and um, breathy, light, free, down through here. Where else do I want it? Here. I'm going to touch my water because I don't want it to be. Um, in here, just a bit through here, touch right there, and on this side, just a bit. Okay, then up here I'd like there to be a bit of soft, kind of orangey, maybe a little less, I want it to be a little more punchy than that. Just a little more. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Much better. Touch a 
blue. I don't want it to be muddy. Which is what I'm getting. So I'm going to pick up a little bit. There we go. I don't want it to turn green there. Just a bit of... Well, it's wet. Just a few touches of... Green. Here and there, just in some controlled areas. And then... Set that down and grab my... Number six, come in with some more some more color. Let it pull around for lap. Give me some more of this. Dreamy mark making that I'm looking for. We'll go with a little bit darker. Blue and some areas here, there, through there, encourage some bleeding. Okay, I gotta stop picking. It's getting to be a bit too. There we go. A bit too defined. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. Let's loosen up some of this. do I want? This blueberry mountain. Lavender, that drop down and pull it down. That 
Okay. Well, I have no idea what I'm doing, so anybody out there thinking, what is she doing? No clue. Playing with color, creating a flowery effect, and seeing what happens on the page when I drop color in and try to lead it around a bit. Uh-huh. Kind of digging that. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I'm digging that. Oh, I like it. All right. Maybe a little bit of dry brush. I don't have so much water. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, cool. Now that I know that, let's scooch over here. Going to dampen this area. I'm gonna drop in both colors heavily. Heavy, 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 right through there. And then this is dry right here. So dry into the wet area. That's that brush and pull, pull some color down. Like that. Oh yeah, I take that. Okay. 
soft, light touch, a light touch. Got too heavy with the water over there, got crazy. Okay, so what I'm looking for is a skim of color. Mostly water right here. Some blue in there. Oh yeah. Digging that a lot. Take a little bit of that blue and drop in some lines. Soften them. Maybe not too much fussing, right? Let it dry a bit. Okay. Now we're going to come down here. Ooh. Oh, I am loving that. Okay. <coughs> so I'm just going to gently dampen the paper here and encourage this to bleed around a bit. Sorry. I am. I should leave that in the water. Once again, getting over yet another cold. Oh, too dark. Too dark. So I'll just soften it. Excuse me. Let's grab this deep dark purple. Oh, this brush is fun. Okay, I am having fun.
that. That's nice, okay. Taking that out. Let's soften this edge here with just some water. Wiggle it around. Pull that out a bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Now we can come in. And some soft, soft, roughly marks. Kind of like that little bit of yellow down in there. That's nice. Take some of this. Just skim it like that. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Just a little touch. You don't want it to turn brown. So just a touch and then I'm going to leave it alone. And then grab some more of our purple. Get in this bit here. That is overlapping so it's it's sheer but it's a little bit darker than the other ones right so I want it to be right there like so I gotta grab more of that dark 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 And those two colors together make it nice and dark. The two colors I'm putting together right here are the um, Cherry Magenta and the Blueberry Mountain. And these are my beam watercolors to get that deep dark spot. And we're going to get this one. Dark through there. And I want it to come up and fade out up here. I want it to just fade. Nice dark flower over there. I'm gonna take my magenta. I'm gonna get in some some lines here to pull around. It's just a wet brush right here, dipping in and pulling it down. It's dry down here. I want that. Those marks, right? Like that. Dip in and just pull down. And the same here. Give it a little wiggle and a sweep. Gorgeous. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up a little bit right there. Right through there. Like that. 
good. Magenta. A little water. See what it looks like when it dries. Okay. And then I want some of that. This is pretty dry over here. And I want this to be throughout over here. Getting some beautiful sweeping marks like that. Oh yeah, I like that. That's beautiful. Exactly what I'm looking for. Good, good, good. Okay. I like it. And this is um, pumpkin and pumpkin spice used in conjunction for these orangey markings. This is ears. I want a little bit of gauzy color down here. That. And then like that. Perfect. And then the bottom of my flower. I feel like it's behind the bunny. So, do that. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Okay. Well, that flower is done for me. I'm leaving it alone now. Um, down here, I want it to be more more oh yeah let's do a couple of these blue colors over here like that and then
take that. I'm going to leave that alone now. I do want it right to the edge of the paper, though. There we go. That's better. <coughs> All right. Give me one second. Okay. I think I'm all right now. Got to blow my nose real quick. I forgot about what I was doing over here. And I left a bunch of hard lines that I did not want. So I'll just come on over and we'll just come on over and. I dig it. Like that. Oh, I am loving how this looks. I hope you guys are enjoying the painting. I did not want it to be a long painting, so I am a little, a little worried at this point that it's getting a bit long in the tooth. That's all right. These things happen from time to time. Right, I'm gonna stop fussing with that. Got it too dark again. Got it too dark again. I'm gonna just, yeah, sweep that down like that. Okay. Like it. Some water right here. Right in there, yep. <coughs> oh, perfect. Mm. I'm loving that bleed right there, that looks nice. Okay. I'm gonna take some more of that blue. I'm gonna come down here. Sweep it up this way. Down this way. Up that way. Like that.
Hmm. Okay, I'm digging that. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to come in here. Got to dry it out a bit. And I'll put a bit of green right there. We can get our blue, which I totally forgot about. Dropped in here. Like so. And then on the ridge of this petal here. Pulling up into there. This blue comes off the page right here. This petal just sweeps off the page. Mm hmm Just touching the edge of the flower like that, and then this edge back here. I like it. I like it. Come with a little more blue. I'm digging that. blend and mold right there. I like that blend. That looks beautiful. Digging it. I'm going to take our purple and come in here and get these edges. These raggedy, raggedy edges like that. I love how that looks. Okay, and then we'll come on up into our blue right here. Right on up into it. Oh, I like that, okay. And I want just a touch more vibrancy right there. I like that. And then, and then I want just a touch of this. I want to pull this gold over on this side a bit. Yeah, I dig that. Okay. And then down below here is dark right here like that and then a bit of a bit of our light blue in there and a bit of our green sweeping in right there like that I want it to look a little confused right through there. My blue. 
So this is our last flower and then we're going to do our bunny. And this flower I want to be a little blue purple I guess. I guess we can sweep on in with our blue. Purpley. Purpley blue. Alright. Nice and wet. Grab my green. I'm ahead and get a little line right there, like that. Okay. Like that. Encourage that bleed right there. I'm digging that. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm digging it. I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to take my, my dark. Dark. My dark, dark. Run it through there. And through there. sharper line. Things got away from me right here. Drop in some water. Sweep it up. There it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's got a little too bold over here. I'll just... Lift some of that out. Make it a little more whimsical feeling.
Things got away from me a little bit over here, but that's all right. It's all right. Still feels the way I want it to feel, so that's that's my plus plus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Now let's do our bunny. Now, to white right there. I'm going to grab this more firm brush. Okay, grab our dark, dark. Sticking with the dark, dark. And... Gently. Drop in. That dark. Purposely leaving that white spot. White, white for right now. Cut this eye a bit bigger. So I'm trying to balance things out a bit. There we go. Okay. Nothing saying my bunny needs to be <coughs> a particular color, right? I was going for whimsical, so in keeping with that, let's go whimsical.
uh, super quiet because every time I talk I keep coughing. Cute. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. He's just too cute for words.
don't know about you guys, but I think he's cute. I think we should leave it alone. I'm a little too carried away at this point. Okay. So that's that's my bunny and irises, I think they are. <laughs> and my instinct just right now, which will change over the next couple days as I live with this piece, um, is to go in with colored pencil over the top and like try to make it look more realistic, like the flowers and stuff, when it's actually very charming the way it is right now. peeking out a little happy Easter piece between the irises I like it I think it's cute well I'm, I'm happy with it at the moment um excuse me you guys let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next video bye